Hello loves, welcome to the Sparkle Z Boutique. Like a lot of us, we have been working from home for the past two years and slowly transitioning back to the office. Well, I am back in my office now on a hybrid schedule and I wanna show you how I'll set up my cubicle in two different ways. If you wanna see how I did that, you know what you gotta do, keep watching. happy that you are taking this time with me i will also love if you haven't already to subscribe to my channel like this video and set up notifications so you can be notified every time i post when you view my videos and share them they really help my channel and it really motivates me to want to come and give you more content believe it or not studies have shown if you just bring a few items from home and personalize your cubicle it will increase productivity and your overall energy when you are at work and so what i did was bought some things from home because my style at home has changed so i wanted to bring some of my favorite items that i no longer use in my home in my office once I give you an overview or have everything is set up, I will go in and let you know in detail where I purchase everything from and if there's a DIY and if there is a video that I have showing that DIY, I will attach it below. But I don't think I do, but if you want to see a video showing you how I created anything that I told you was a DIY, let me know in the comment section. Okay, and here is a overall look and reveal of how I have everything set up at my cubicle. I really hope you like the first look, and I'm going to go in now and give you some more details about what I have on my desk. First, I have this sign here that I changed to say cute little messages that kind of motivate me i may change it once a week once a month whenever the mood hits me and as you can see they say snail don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle okay the mask came from a halloween spirit store you know the lady susan came from home goods the sign came from burlington coat factory and this clock here came from pier one and this camera, fake camera display thing came from TJ Maxx. The rhinestone pineapple came from Tuesday morning. And of course, the bookends came from Home Goods. Those books I actually made myself. I repurposed them. They came from the thrift store. And then this flawless light that I have here also came from Burlington. I will add a little clip later on how it looks when it's lit up. It's just not lit up now because I didn't want it to disturb the filming. And this little chandelier ornament came from at home. And then on the top here, I made this panel myself and I added some brooches and old jewelry to it. And that's a wood Z that I added rhinestones to. And this mask here, rhinestone mask, I got from online somewhere, I don't remember. And of course the cake stand is from Home Goods. The little crystal container came from Home Goods. The pink um, candlesticks came from Michaels. And then of course another panel that I made myself. And then at the top of my phone here, I have this wood Z that I purchased from Michaels that I painted, put some bling wrap on and added some repurposed jewelry and some pearls, rhinestones, crystals, whatever I had on hand at the time. And then next to that, we have a sign from Dollar Tree that says she leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes. And I added some bling wrap to that. I have that at sign from the Dollar Tree that also lights up. And those candlesticks came from Burlington Coat Factory. 
And then next we're going into the stuff that's provided at the desk. So that's really not important. But I do have the gold stapler from Target. And I have this cup that I got from Amazon that says Queen of Everything. And in the back there, we just have a phone stand from the Dollar Tree. And now I'm going back and giving you a whole overview of everything. And then I will be going to the next look. I wanted to add a little clip of another saying that I had, which is, it's hard to be a diamond in a rhinestone world. Okay, here is look number two. And I have half of the items that I had at the other desk. This is more of a condensed version of what I had before. And I just wanted to give you a different option if you don't want as much bling as I had at the other one. This is a very similar look with a few things taken away and a few things put in and set up a different way. I have my backpack and my two throws that I use in the office to stay warm. As you can see at the top, the panels are gone and I added the picture that's up top. I can't remember where I got that from. I'm sorry, I had it for so many years. But as you can see, the bottom is pretty much set up how it was. And the candlesticks from the corner are up on the top and the sign from the Dollar Tree. And I, you know, still have the Z. I added my black Barbie and that vase that I got from Burlington Coat Factory and everything else is pretty much came went with my cubicle and I got the job and I just wanted to show you a more simplistic look of the other cubicle look that I showed previously let me know in the comment section below which one you like better I love them both but I would love to know what you think I really hope you enjoyed this quick video on my two different cubicle looks. I would love if you would thumb this video up, share it with everyone, your friends and family, anywhere you share your social media. And as always, be your own kind of beautiful because you, my love, are beautiful. See you next time. Bye.